Hi, let's talk about the enzyme phosphohexoisomerase. So the enzyme phosphohexoisomerase converts glucose 6-phosphate into fructose 6-phosphate. So as the enzyme binds with the substrate, the first thing that it does is it breaks the ring structure of glucose 6-phosphate to form a linear structure. So the enzyme binds with the substrate and converts the ring structure into a linear structure. In the next step, the glutamic acid residue which is present at the active site of the enzyme takes away the hydrogen from C2 carbon atom. So what glutamic acid does is, we all know glutamic acid has COO- group. So it is this group which accepts the hydrogen and form C double OH. So this is how the glutamic acid which is present at the active site of the enzyme takes away the hydrogen from C2 carbon atom. Since the hydrogen from C2 carbon is lost, the double bond which is in between C1 and oxygen now shifts between C1 and C2. This results in formation of an intermediate. Once this intermediate is formed, this oxyanion accepts the hydrogen from the surrounding environment. In the next step, the hydrogen from the OH group at the C2 carbon atom is lost. As a result of this, the double bond which is in between C1 and C2 now shifts between this carbon and oxygen. And the hydrogen which was taken away by glutamic acid is transferred to C1 carbon atom. Now if you notice this structure carefully, then we have a keto group and the final product so formed is fructose 6-phosphate. In the final step, the enzyme again converts the linear structure into the ring structure. So this is how the enzyme phosphohexoisomerase functions.